Bad Guy Flies RC here. Well, I'm coming to you again today from the man cave. We're going to do an unboxing of a new plane. Yes, I know, me and a new plane, right? Um, been thinking about my Dynam experience since kind of 50-50. Uh, the Warbirds have been the regular traditional prop-driven, tractor-driven uh, uh, Warbirds have been wonderful. The uh, FW uh, uh, 190 and the BF 109, um, both of them have been absolutely incredible planes. I've just enjoyed them. I, they're, I keep wanting to take them to the field, and, and I'm just really enjoying them. Um, I've had other Dynams in the past, long before I had this channel, and mixed reviews on them, so we'll just put them in the past. Uh, however, the jets that I've gotten from Dynam was the uh, the ME 262 and the uh, A10. The A10 can I judge it unfairly because, like I say, it was a project plane. It had issues from the get-go, and basically, for all intents and purposes, it was given to me, and I tried to make the best of it. I may still return to it and get it flying better, but it does have some serious issues, mainly with uh, the elevator and uh, it has no way to cool the ESCs and other issues that are that are um, there but I, I think it's workable I just need to spend more time with it. The ME62 262 however is I got her back together however I've had to use so much glue in order to get her at least presentable that um, I don't know if she'd ever fly right I, I've She's so heavy now, and, and turns out they, had, they knew that this plane would be tail heavy, and they had actually installed, uh, as I found through the crash, uh, lead weights in the nose, and it was still too tail heavy. And there's not enough room to put a larger battery to where you could slide it far enough forward in order to get it uh, balanced out on a CG. So it, it's just a, a poor design, and, and, and um, I think that's one of the reasons why you don't see as many videos of it as there are. I think I could, there's, there are some people who've gotten it to fly better, they, they've had to put a lot of weight in the nose, and this, that, and the other. Um, I just, I don't like the idea of having to heavily mod something before you even fly it the first time, just in order to get it to fly. I, I think that it should be designed in such a way to where it flies well. And then if you crash it or you damage it, then it's then you should be the one modding it to, to make it work right. Um, that's just my own personal opinion. I know that may not be shared with everyone, but that's just how I feel. You, It should at least be flyable of no fault of its own by its design. If you alter and go away from the way it's intended, then that's on you. Um, but anyways. But if you put a plane together the way they say and, it's, and do it the way it, the instructions say and it still doesn't fly right, well then there's a design flaw. So um, enough said about that. Uh, I do still really like diamond planes. The old saying is if you got to fly a diamond plane that flies, keep it. Because if it flies well, it'll always fly well. They're very hardy, they're very robust once you get them flying. Um, and I just like the fact that Dynam, the Dynams offer other some planes that nobody else even dreams of offering. And maybe that's one of their biggest uh, assets. But in that spirit, I have decided to give Dynam yet another chance in their jets. And I have got the latest Dynam in their jet line. And if you probably if you watch modeling a lot, then you already know that I've got the new... Hawker Hunter, and I'm going to do an unboxing for you now, and uh, take a look at it, and uh, follow up with a build at some point. I am limited on my time right now, so I think all just a unboxing video will be all I'll be able to provide for now. But uh, let's jump right into it. Um, obviously, I took it out of the very nice brown box that it came in and uh, see everything they've actually got styrofoam in this one most of the dynam planes that i've unboxed are just in their separate little cardboard boxes 
and stuff about the, the instructions, the famous one-page instructions that Dynam is famous for. They like to use pictures and words more than anything else. And uh, but that's that. Okay, I've seen a couple of unboxing videos on TV, so that tells me this is probably the vertical, sta yes it is, it's the vertical stabilizer. And in true Dy Dynam tradition, all already back boxed up. Bag in his own little device. Very, by the way, this this plastic E Flight doesn't even do this. E Flight will have sometimes have their parts in bags like this, but it's very thin. These these bags are thick. You're not going to get through them, which is nice in the sense that sometimes you know planes like this will sit in a hot warehouse for a while, and you know that offers a measure of perfection, or a, a measure of protection, rather. Uh, and there it is, the other um, vertical stabilizer. And the typical and, and very nice, the uh, Phillips head screwdriver with their glue. And this glue, by the way, that Dynam gives you is really good. It actually really is. It's quite good. Um, let me check something on the camera real quick. Okay. All right, we're good. I just want to make sure that I'm able to be seen from where I have the GoPro sitting on its stand. Okay. Alright. We got that there. We got that there. We got that there. This should be the wings. So let's this up. And everything, you know, nicely packed, nicely protected. I don't expect to see any damage. Very nice wing. Tell you what, with that that yellow and black there, you you, can, you won't have any problem seeing that. You got lights, so nothing else in that box. So this would be the other wing. All right. This is the other wing, and very nice split flat plastic and a ball link on the uh, aileron traditional clevis um, on the flap That's good all right we have another box here but I'm thinking this is just for spacing uh, well, let's make sure there's nothing in there I can oh wait right that's right I forgot there's your Tail or your uh, wing spar bombs and bombs. You're gonna take a bomb and say you the bomb. Yeah, but anyway, bad joke. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, well, actually, there's two things. We got the fuselage, and looks like the decal sheet is underneath the fuselage. So. Pilot Captain Blosh and Pilot Robert. If you can see the pilot, she has looks like female eyes with eyebrows. So we have a female woman power, right? Okay, there we go. And of course, this should be the decal, and it is decal sheet. So you can put it in a Swiss library. Uh, is it livery or is it when when y'all watch this video when i refer to airplanes and i say how they're dressed out with their different flags and different uh insignia of country of origin and i say library is it livery or is it livery how, how do you say that and uh man there's foam bits everywhere man, that's dandruff man that's dandruff but uh foam dandruff all right, put that over there. Okay. Very nice uh, fuselage. Okay. 
All right, it, it tongue and grooves in for the front and magnets in the back. Um, oh, you have a wooden tray to uh, for your battery to go in. Pretty good size fuselage. Um, looks like I'll be able to sneak the receiver in underneath these magnets right there where the where this is a gooseneck sort of configuration there um, got your front retracts here and then there's a hole here that's where you can service your your uh, front retract servo actually that's your rudder servo for steering cheater holes here for air cooling to get to the inlets for the fan and let's see that got the quick connects as I heard was on here um, let's see one two three four five. 12 bladed fan what it appears to be okay, your um, rudder servo is already connected for you with a ball link hinge okay you got a foam hinge there all right yeah be a very simple build it really will be nice thing to note that the fuselage because of these i don't know these were weapon top pot i don't know what these are these out outcrops here but because of it, the fuselage will sit flat on a flat surface. Very nice pilot, already installed. You got your ordnance here. Put them off the side. That's one of the things you're going to put on absolutely last. Looks like only two bolts or two screws for each of the wings, which so this will be a very simple build. Um, the horizontal stabilizer obviously has one connection on each side of the tail and it is glued on. You have a small carbon fiber spar, spar for it and a carbon fiber spar for the wings. And the screws, I don't know what these screws would be for. Unless, the, oh, these are for the wings. Yeah, you got. Yeah, the heavier ones, uh, yeah, the longer ones would be in the knee up front, the meat of the wing, and the smaller ones would be back in the thinner end. So the bag that has your screw, your free screwdriver and glue is one that has your wing screw in it. So four screws. Yeah, four screws. This is actually a very simple build. Now, <coughs> one thing in case I forget to mention, because I probably will end up doing a build video because this is a very simple, very quick one. Um, and I'll probably mention this in the build video, but anytime you're going to be gluing foam, foam to foam, okay, even when it's joined with a spar, anytime you're going to have two foam surfaces touching each other, and especially if one surface is already painted, take some sanding paper, or sand or sand or whatever way you want to scuff up or sand off the painted part where the foam is going to hit you. You're not going to see it anyways, but that will ensure you a uh, much tighter bond with um, your glue and your parts. So um, I don't think we need to take the anything out of the bags. You, that's pretty mundane. But it's very small count. I mean, you've got two pieces for the tail, two, two separate wings, a cockpit that just pops right on, wing spar, small tail spar and glue them on and she's put together um i think my biggest problem is going to be just where i'm going to set my receiver at to where it's not going to be absolutely crowded i'm going to be using a lemon rx stability plus um, receiver it's still actually the one out of the ME262 and I figure that way at least it's getting some good use so uh, yeah I'll be able to put that 
there. So, anyways, I'll figure that out. Anyways, that's the unboxing of the Hawker Hunter, um, the latest um, release from uh, Dine of Hobbies. Um, I'm this this came to me by Bitco, and, and I, I want to tell you something, folks. I mean, you get used to Horizon Hobby and Hobby Zone and the, and the you know the big names, um, and, and they are good companies, and they, and they are they do have good good customer service and everything. But I want to tell you something, Bitco. They're trying their best. They are trying hard. Um, I, I deal with a. I, he, it's it's an Oriental. I'm not being trying to be uh, insensitive, um, but I don't. I just assume it's an Oriental name. That's just my own stupidity. Um, uh, Mr. Jing, I think is his name. But he's the one I deal with when I um, email back and forth. That man has absolutely bent over backwards to help me out. Um, to, you know, hey, suggest things. To when a part's not right or something's not, he, he's done everything he can to make it right and keep me informed and um, up to date on what's going on with any repair or any return or any new purchase I've made from them. And uh, he's pretty much the only one I've dealt with. But if he is the um, representative of their customer service, then they're on the right track. They really are. Um, Dynam has mixed reviews as far as their products. Um, if you got a Diamond plane that's flying, it's awesome. They fly great and they're extremely durable. They don't have the best reputation with the retracts, that's for sure. Supposedly, this plane here is supposed to change all that. This plane is supposed to have their new very reliable retracts in it um, they've gone to ball link um, a lot most of the control services they got a wood tray now they've got some some uh, improvements in their design because they want to stay in competition so anyways i'm just very pleased with the look of this one so far i've been pleased with most of my dining planes and uh here's hoping but I want to give the Dyna Media Jets another chance. So here's um, here's the shot. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, the well, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. My camera says I gotta go now. Bye bye. Well, it turns out that wasn't my camera that was telling me I needed to go. It turns out that was my uh, smart checker telling me that its balancing job was done on a uh, lipo that I had balancing. Um, but what I was going to say um, is thank you for watching. I will put links um, to the purchase of this plane with all of its specs um, in the video or actually in the description of the video. And uh, that will wrap it up. I'm not going to promise when I'll get a build video. I'm kind of limited on time this weekend. Um, but hopefully we'll get it soon. And uh, then hopefully a maiden, we hope. <laughs> be going on vacation in a few weeks, and so I'll be doing some of that. So that'll take me out of the game for a little bit, but much deserved. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Y'all have a good day. God bless y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe.